Hi guys, we're up in my loft. Going to do some plumbing. Underneath this thing is my cold water tank, storage tank, and there's a slow drip on the inlet pipe. Can allow enough to build up in there to run out through the overflow pipes, that's those white pipes over there, and drip outside. So the overflow pipe works, but I want to fix the leak, or the drip. It'll be the valve is leaking. So I'll take the cover off and see if we can get in there. I've already been downstairs and turned off the main stopcock, so there should be no water coming in. This is the valve we're talking about, and at the moment there's no water dripping out of there, although that's where it was dripping from. Same as everybody else in an emergency in the middle of the night, I've actually bent the rod there down to force more pressure onto the ball valve to try and seal the valve, but that was just a temporary fix. What I'm going to do now is take this apart and see if we can replace the... There's probably a rubber washer in there, or maybe a plastic washer. So first of all, when I push that down, normally there'd be a rush of water coming in. So I'm at least happy that I've turned the stopcock off. I'll need to get a spanner to undo that. probably right in the way of the camera, I'm sorry about that. So, when the ball rises on the water, that pushes that little lever there, and that pushes against the valve in there to seal the water, stop the water coming in. Right, I've repositioned the camera. That piece there sits up against it and here we've got this rubber diaphragm that pushes against the end of that to seal it against there and I'm hoping that just by cleaning this out that might fix it. Right, we still have a slow drip So I've been off to B&Q and got some replacement diaphragm washers as they call them and in case of worst case scenario I've got a replacement 
ballcock. That's the diaphragm, the old one on the right, you can see a indentation in the middle of it where it's been wearing away, and the new one on the left. So I'll fit them, or fit the new one, and see if that does the job. Just make sure we put it the same way round. And screw that back on there, but I can't do that one-handed. This bit's got a little key on top, so that it lines up with that slot. Sorry I'm not using a tripod, but I think I left that downstairs. Yeah, can't do it one-handed, so... Quick demonstration. As we push the arm up in relation to the valve, we should be able to see the valve or the diaphragm being pushed in. And that seals onto the end of there. Like I said, I'll have to get a diagram to show you how this all works. Right, all back in position there. I've got my wife downstairs turning the water back on. Okay, well we've got no water coming through here at the moment. So if you'd like to run some hot water for a minute. Well, we've dropped about half an inch of water at the moment, but it hasn't turned it on yet. Oh, yep, we're dripping now, so you can turn the hot water off downstairs. sit here and see how long it takes to turn itself up again. Thank you very much. Bye. I guess while we're up here in the loft you can see some of my other projects. of aeroplanes, rubber band powered car, a few more cars over there. Yeah. One down there too. Okay, well we'll just sit here and wait for a while. Just the tiniest of a drip just then. There we go. I think that's good enough though for now. Like I said, I bought a new valve, complete valve unit, in case this doesn't work.